I'm not trying to be overly dramatic, but most people when they walk in say something like, wow. And they are surprised at its uh, beauty. The Prindle Institute came out of a dream we had to help students reflect on moral issues. I think the world right now is not exactly doing things ethically, and um, I wanted to um, try to get people to learn to do things right and not, not just think of themselves. Janet is a person who spent her whole career uh, dealing with socially responsible investing. We only looked for companies that invested and that had ethical people and had, were good to their employees and didn't pollute. We wanted to have an auditorium where we could have lectures. We wanted to have seminar rooms. We wanted to have office spaces for our faculty members to do their work. And we wanted a lot of spaces that would be inviting to conversation. Uh, we chose to build a building in the nature park because we wanted it to be a retreat setting. I think that you can't have a center in a nature park, a building that isn't LEED certified. I mean, it's just like, you would, I mean, it would be ridiculous. The LEED certification program was set up by the U.S. Green Building Council, the U.S. GBC, to actually measure, based on set criteria, how green a project is. The Printel Institute is green. Um, in a number of ways across a number of categories. The way we use water, the way we conserve water, the way the building treats uh, water before it is reintroduced to the uh, environment. The landscaping materials are native to Indiana, so they re they're really accustomed to our climate and they, they don't require irrigation. There are a number of things uh, in the building's design itself that are sustainable from using water-based paint and adhesives. The limestone that we've used in the building is regional, so it wasn't trucked a great distance to get here. It's Indiana limestone. Um, the steel has uh, recycled content. The concrete has fly ash content, which is a waste product. We used structural insulated panels, which have a very high R value to conserve energy so the mechanical systems operate more efficiently and consume less energy. We also used uh, occupancy sensors throughout the building and what they will do is they will turn the lights on and turn the lights off as people come and go so that after you leave a room for a while the lights will go off and conserve energy that way. This land, almost 500 acres, uh, surrounds a quarry that was mined for many years by the firm Hanson Aggregates. The site where we actually built this building originally was a, a waste pile. A significant amount of leftover stone and rock flour from the mining operation had been dumped here. We've put in over 10 miles of scenic trails for students to jog, for the public to use, almost like a park. Uh, we have a field station and a laboratory, if you please, for the biology department. We have a welcome station and we have this building. CSO understood what we wanted to produce here. And it wasn't just a building, it's a feeling and a natural, wonderful environment. And I think they came through beautifully. I had no idea it would turn out as nicely as it did. I'd be weepy thinking of it. But it was really um, just wonderful.